And then we load this sucker on the trailer and we head for Lake Havasu, throw it on a dyno. new day in the shop we are working on the rat rod so basically she's close she's building a little too much boost We've got a 325 pulley on it as you can see here we got hold of Whipple and we got us a new pulley So we did the math and we think this four is gonna put us right around the eight pounds of boost. We have one that's barely smaller than this too. If we don't like this one, we'll put it on. We'll get that. That's on the business today. We've got an 80 amp breaker to put in the electric fan right there because that one's not big enough and it keeps tripping a 40. Um, we got some resonators right here that have gotta go in the exhaust to quiet her down once this thing got supercharged. She's loud, it's pretty obnoxious if you're going places. So we're gonna quiet down a notch. I built me a water neck. I'll show you the problem with the water neck here. So right down in here, you can see the water neck and the dampener pulley, or the, the tensioner pulley, it hits it. Well, you can't loosen it because it hits it. So this should fix it and uh, get me back on the road where I need to be. So a bunch of little things to get done. And then we load this sucker on the trailer and we head for Lake Havasu, throw it on a dyno and get it dialed clear in to where we can run it. I, I currently haven't run it over 3000 RPMs. So, oh, that's what else runs out of fuel. So this truck we built with two fuel pumps on it. I'm going to put this little doodad in line on the boost and it will turn my second fuel pump on at four pounds of boost. So we for sure don't lean out and run out of fuel. I got to put this little thing on my super, or my supercharger cooler fan on the back. We got lots of little stuff to get done on it and then we can go rip it a little. So we got to figure out where these fit. I wanted to put them after the Flowmasters, but I think I'm going to put them before. I think I'm going to weld them in right there. Something like that on either side. I think that's going to work. That's the spot. All right, Lynn, saws all us. All right, so I'm thinking like right there and right there. I'm gonna cut this one. Think those are gonna do anything? I think so. I think they gotta do something. I don't know how to get them in here. Probably going to have to take that clamp loose. Oh. oh nope, let off. I gotta go expand this a little bit. That's gonna, I can weld that. Relatively good, really, didn't it? I think so. I like it. How much difference do you think? I think putting it for the muffler will actually do something. Probably should. All right, I'll weld it together. And then we'll do one more and then we got it. Maybe I'll cut the other one. We'll just weld them. Yeah, you're gonna have to loosen that one. Get an extension, whatever you gotta get, let's get it loose. That's fairly too much or? No, I think it's good. I think you can tighten it. I think that's gonna work. And then get a red or a ratchet and tighten them so you can tell how tight you got it. We can hold that up like that and I'll weld it. It's gonna work. Get the welder. 
Got it held? Yep. Okay, it should stay. Go grab me a little hammer. Got it. Now I just gotta finish that. I don't know if we got it all, but we're close. Oh, there's a little spot right there. I don't know if I can get my helmet to work. <laughs> All right, now I got a little piece up here to weld. Well, it looks like right there. You might be able to get to that. I think I can. I think I got it. All right, let's let it down and see what it sounds like. Get it. I'm gonna go back up. I think I'll change the thermostat from underneath. Loud. I don't know what else you do. It's dual three inch flow masters with 10 inch resonators on it. It's quieter, but it has to breathe. It's got to get yeah. exhaust out. So, all right, we've got a thermonet. A thermonet? <laughs> and a, and a, we got the thermostat all changed out. Got a 160 in here. Seems to be good. We're going to loosen these bolts and swap a pulley out. This pulley will come back one day when we build the bottom end. For now, it's too much. We're about to see if we've got trauma with the throttle. Hopefully, it clears. We had to buy a one inch spacer to get it to clear before, and this pulley is significantly larger. Kind of hurts me taking boost out of this thing, but I just don't want to build a motor right now. Better yet, I can't afford to build a motor right now. All right, there it is. The party pulley's gone, the big one's on. Put this truck on for a second. It's close, but it don't hit. That's not Where's hitting? the light? No. Oh, it's not hitting. <laughs> that is. That is. I'm close. not afraid. To, I'm not afraid to grind a little off that thing too. Well, that's close. It's as close as you get. This is still. Fixed. <laughs> Should be fixed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. I think we got the. Belt all put on, we'll fire it up and see what it does. That's perfect. It's like right at five, five or six, when he's really on it. Quite a bit of slack. <laughs> see how 
what we got here. Go turn the key on for me. Okay, 12 volts, no volts. Let me go ahead and start it. I think we've accomplished everything we needed to for today. So next time you see this, it's gonna be on a trailer, headed towards Havasu to get thrown on the dyno and see what kind of numbers it puts down. I'll bet it's good. Just, just from filling it in the truck, it's good. All right, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but we got new tow truck shirts. They're kind of new and the old, same as the older ones. We just brought them back because we brought the truck back. So if you want some, they're on the website, check them out. It's morning, like uh, four, 50 in the morning. It's early, we're headed to Havasu. We got a lot of stuff going on today. We're gonna head down, dyno the tow truck, make sure everything's good. But first, we're testing the new airbags out on the Duramax. We got ourselves a Firestone airbag kit. So, I don't know what's in this. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. All right, so we've got a pretty good load on the trailer. We have the tow truck and the free truck on the back. So we're gonna test the old airbags out pretty good today. Away we go, we're out of here. We'll take you for an adventure and see how things go. Hopefully, good. All right, we just stopped here at the Love's truck stop. We got the whole crew here with us, so we're, we're on to Havasu. We'll uh, go get this truck dynoed and see if we can get a tow truck. 100% on the road, so here we go. Alright, we have arrived in Havasu. We're here, so we're gonna roll up and uh, eat at Rusty's because that's what you do when you come to Havasu. So we're gonna go eat our favorite food and then uh, head for some dino action. We'll go there. What is this right here? It's got brand new Firestones on it. What is this program? You guys are rolling. Hey. Got a headlight. 
<laughs> indicator yeah, out. That's, that's land and he had a deer in it. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You ready for some breakfast or what? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Take that program right now. Thank you. Put pickles on the top for you. They know me here. They know you. What do you get? What I always get. Uh -huh. Burnt ends Benedict. It's delicious. How was that? Ready for a nap, dude. Yeah. That's good. How about breakfast, huh? <laughs> That's a bad. That didn't suck. Never does. That's awesome. The only thing that sucks about it is after you eat it, you just don't want to do anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good thing we're just going to stand back and watch. All right. We have arrived at uh, Old School Garage headquarters. We're going to unload, park this truck up here, and then we'll uh, deal with life. I got the thumb down. I got the recurve <laughs> thumb. All right, we're off to Brian's to go dyno this thing and get it all dialed in. So it's going to be good. Okay, who's the strapper? Landon, you're the best strapper I know. Get under there. <laughs> Since out. when? Since today. Okay. Let's take uh, one of those ratchets and go over the, go over the housing. Uh, 40. And then hook the hook to the um, blue. See the blue land. 268 is what they said. Yeah, that's new Preston today. What do we got? Some newfangled something? Well, baby. <laughs> yeah, so it's blowing up, Brian. It's his, his life. Yeah, no, don't kill it. No pressure. No pressure. He's got to go under. Got it. Does this one need to be under it? Yeah. All of them got to be all of them. So they're all going to be back like this. That sounds about right. You're not going to do it before now. No, I haven't. I haven't even revved this thing up. Like. 3,800 is the highest I've, I don't want to torch this. I want to make sure everything's where it needs to be before we blow it up. I'm not saying we're not going to blow it up, just All right, we don't want to do it small and skinny. Yeah, oh, I'll plug that in on the other side. Okay, what do you think it is? 550 to the ground. Four and a quarter, I'm hoping. Yeah, I think Merlin's a little high. I just want reliable yeah. power. Reliable. Reliable. Sean? Yep. What? What do you think he'll make? To the ground? Yeah. 480. 480? I'm gonna go 4... 450. There we go. Do you have a guess of what it's gonna dyno? Well, normally I'd say it'd make about 450, yeah. but since our uh, RPM box is still having some issues, I'm gonna say 350, 400. Alright. That's gonna be my guess. We all made bets, Wait. what do you think? Five? Five? Five to the rear wheel? Yeah. <laughs> 
stuff or? No, just fix it. Oh, yeah. I've already changed everything. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it needed it. No, it's close. It's it's starting to come together. Tomator makes 780. Just saying. <laughs> There's an old saying in this torque and horsepower world. It's called gross output. So you take this number and add it to this number. <laughs> That's your gross output. The diesel will always and be the winner. You, and then you multiply it by two, right? Yeah, exactly. That's only if you're spraying the <laughs> alternative fuel additive. <laughs> Horsepower. That was forty nine hundred. That was loud. Holy. Three twenty five to the tires. We're getting there. It runs pretty good, really. It sounds way better. Yeah. It starts it's right clean. up. Yeah, you know. it starts right up. Yeah, I'm not even putting my foot on the pedal. Oh yeah, that's but awesome. It starts up good. That's it. She's dialed. Sweet. Ready to go make some recoveries now. Yeah, I can use it now. Yep. Not worry about breaking it. Well. <laughs> well, it's called use now, yeah. not abuse. That's right. Before it was abuse. Well, I was off about five. You were close. I was close. Marlon was way off. I was way off. Like, it made almost 10 pounds that last pull. So but in Utah at elevation, 6,500, it'll yeah. be six eight. to eight pounds yeah, which is perfect. perfect for up there which keeps this alive yeah. that's what i want yeah i mean you should just be able to put 91 in it and go yeah it that's what's in it, it. So, so when you're having a bad day just bolt that three inch pulley on it and <laughs> <laughs> yeah just don't call us when the rod's yeah. hanging out. honestly just driving this makes you not have a bad day that's <laughs> true when you can just whack the throttle it spins the tires in the tow truck it's pretty fun <laughs> i gave him his first supercharged motor yeah it's it's bad deal he goes out and spins the tires. Now everything he's got, he wants to supercharge. We'll just order a supercharger for it. Yeah. It's bad. What's yeah. after supercharger? Turbos. Uh, then it's fuel. So an old man once told me, he says, once you have a supercharged car or a turbocharged car, you'll never go back to naturally aspirated. Once you run alcohol, you'll never go back to gas. Once you run nitromethane, you can never go back to alcohol. So be careful what you drink. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. That just gets ex more expensive as does, you go, basically. And once he goes turbos, he's not going to want to see the turbo. See, Brian, Brian, he's turbos one of them where it's at. turbo, I love turbos. funny fuel guys, and yeah. I love turbos.
All right, we are officially done. This thing's running. It's good. It's happy.